swiveling off. Yeah, time for a new pair. They're not quite metal to metal yet though. Okay, have a look at that. That side's not much different. Now I'll go to the braking side, which is oh, the front side. And the front side is a little bit more worn. Than the back side. Well, that's how they sit on, on here. So now I'm going to start taking the springs off. There's one spring. I just put another vice grips to hold the, the shoe. It's just got a slot in there. Was here oh. and these little. And then the self tensioner is right here. mechanism like that yeah. oh, easy to take the spring out now so like that and I'll put that spring here. See, it's got a little slot in it there. Fits like that. See, I released the spring off of here. And Let's see the wiggly little part here goes in here like that.
I just put a tiny screwdriver in here and I just twist it and it spreads it open. Now if that didn't work for you, I just take it off on the vise now. I just locked it in and I'm just pressing that out. I did release the uh, emergency brake. I did get the pin out. I'm just going to turn it this way. We'll have to bang it down in there. And put the pin back in. And just take a pair of pliers and squeeze it together. back in place now. Well I got the first spring on and I'm going to put it back on the uh, emergency brake oh. cable and I double checked to make sure it's seated properly in there right there make sure that it's seated straight in the opposite way this adjuster is spinning freely so I don't have to clean it but if it's not spinning you'll have to clean the threads but anyway I'm gonna Use the brush on there, the steel brush, clean that. Just push that little pin bag, it's yeah, just like that. Now I can put the other shoe on this side. So you can tell which way it went also because the dirty side up. And fits in there like that. 
The other pad in position. I've got it mounted on the bottom. I have it uh, mounted to the uh, adjuster and the brake cylinder. And then I put the vice grips on the bottom just to hold it so I can put the uh, little spring catch on. Right over there. Okay, I'm just going to attach the bottom spring. See, I took the plug off the back, and what you do is you put a little screwdriver into the hole after you've got your drums on, and and then you can move the self-adjuster to make it tighter. And it's, uh, you move it clockwise. See, it's moving. And that'll expand the uh, brake uh, shoes against the drum. And you do that when um, your drum is on. I'm on the last spring right here, it attaches right to here. This is just here to hold the shoe from bouncing around. You might have to wiggle it a little bit to, to get it in position. I cleaned up the drum a bit and then I painted it, but I got the rust off. I'm going to put the screwdriver in the back hole and turn the uh, self-adjuster clockwise until this becomes until I can feel it. You don't want to go too tight where you lock your uh, brakes on the drum. And after that you put the, uh, the little cap back.